Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network for Red Sun. So uh, we're still in the process of putting the sea slider together and uh, looking into it, uh, there was only one part I was missing, uh, the board part. And uh, I don't know how I missed this guy. I feel like I should have gotten him earlier. He's right here. The guy who gives you the board part is right here. I think I talked to him earlier but never got it. So uh, let's just get it, get it now. And that should be, I think that's the last one. Uh, so, um, okay, so, uh, we have to find someone called the Slide Master now, once you have all the parts, and, uh, he's in the, um, the Netfrika area, or rather, it's a she, because, uh, we'll find out in, in a bit why it's a she now. Uh... Den Airport, go to Netfrica, and um, I think we can jack into, yep, you gotta go here. Okay, so here we are in Netfrica. Uh, there's a guy here that's, or there's a girl navy here who's behind a blue door that you have to get to. Um, somewhere here. I think it's that door. Uh, get hold of line key. Nope, that's not the door. Okay, uh... These random battles are bad in this game. Can't even take a few steps. Jeez, you get Zenny's glory here, the hero. Though. Wow. I suggest you don't go any further. Uh, so here's one way to get to the other part of Sharo, by the way. Uh, so, if you... This guy here, he'll tell you, uh, that, that the undernet is this way. Uh, without the sea slider, sure you want to go in, you'll have to find the mysterious slide master somewhere in this area. He's made most of the sea slider. Uh, yeah, so that's what he's hinting to right there. So now that we have all the parts, we just need to go and, uh, find this person so we can get it, so we can get it built. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I know where it is. Uh, jack out from, from here. I know a quick way to get to it. Wow, I don't know, I don't know why I forgot this. Remember where I, where I got the Black Bomb Z from the uh, Purple Mystery data? I literally brought it up. The girl back there is the one that makes the sea slider for you. So go to Sharo, jack into Sharo area, and you can get to it from there. So the gate's already open. I don't have to worry about that yet. I don't have to worry about that anymore, because that was where uh, I already unlocked it, because I needed a ship from it earlier. Okay, now that that whole thing is done, I apologize. Let's go there. So now, in the Sharo area, you go down to... Who did I just... Oh, Cold Man, uh... We might as well fight this, because this is uh, one of the chips I need. I'm going to be using a bit of a cheat here for this battle in particular. Oh, come on. I want to speed this up, so I'm using this for, 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 for the moment. 
But we should get... Yeah, the cold man chips. So you can get the mega chips that way. Cool. Alright, so I guess they'll be available in the net. Uh, so, in anyway, you want to go back here. So there would be a lock gate here, here before. And um, if you were looking to get the uh, chips needed to do the quest in Sharo, where Chilski is freezing everything up, uh, the purple mystery data that has Black Bomb Z would be right here, originally. Right next to, to, to this girl, so you can get it right from here. But you want to talk to her here. The Slider Master? Oh, you must mean my Gramps. But he was deleted by a virus at the end of last year. I could make one if I had the parts. I'll need three parts. I have them. Board parts, jet parts, and wing parts. So we have all three of them. Black Market now. You can find Black Market dealers lurking on the net. I know that there's one in the Yumland area. Oh, and I think there might be one in the two countries net. Anyway, if you can get the parts, I'll be glad to make it. Uh, here you go. Put that in there. That's it. Finished. And there it is, guys. We get the Sea Slider. No, no. You, you don't ha have to pay me. I like my gramps, I just make those for fun. Well, ain't that nice. Okay, so now... Let's go to Netfrica. Or, not Netfrica, Sharo. The uh, proper Sharo area. Or, the way to Sharo from, from Net Net Netfrica. My god, my brain. Oh, lordy. Eventually, I'll say what I'm trying to say correctly. Okay. Back to Netfrica again. Oh man, this thing is so weird to do on this controller. I'm using like a PlayStation 4 controller to play this game, and it's been pretty awkward playing it that way, honestly. I'd argue it's honestly better if you use like a Nintendo controller and a Nintendo device. And uh, I'm thinking of... Yeah, I'm probably going to end up... Uh, I might just double dip on this, on this, honestly. I might just get it on console as well, so I have one to play on the go, and I can uh, play some more of the games that I haven't played a ton of yet in this series, so. Um, where is it? I think it was up here. Well, actually, there, there, there is one here. Let's take a look at this. So, boosh! That's what, that's, that, that's what the sea slider looks like. Pretty cool. And we get Navi Customizer Program Jungle. So now we that's for attracting grass-type viruses, obviously. You all know that. Uh, damn it. Holy crap, you have just zennies galore here. Well, I know where I'm going to be grinding for zennies from, from now on. Wow. Uh, the guy was right here, yeah. So now, let's have a look. Let's go to the Undernet. I'll be able to show this area off proper. So now, off we go. And we enter through this door. And here we are in the Undernet. Proper. So let's go on through. Okay. Stuck in that. So, yeah, now we're in the Undernet official, and, uh, it's... Pretty cool looking. Pretty pretty scary. Look at this thing. This undernet is quite tough too. The areas here, the enemies here are no joke. And there's a mission here. Like I said, if you were playing a search man or doing search man's mission, if you fought him in the tournament, there's actually a mission here that you have to do that's really really hard, and I don't like it very much at all. Because what happens is um, he has a challenge here for you, and what's happening is you'll be walking through this area, and he'll be um. He'll be trying to, like, hit you with his sniper rifle, and he'll have, like, a, uh, you'll see, like, a, um, a reticle on you. And if the reticle locks onto you and shoots you, then you'll take damage. And he can do that throughout the whole area as you're trying to get through, so it's, like, really, really hard, and I don't like it very much. So I'm really glad I actually didn't get that, because I really hate it. Okay, well, I got two of you. Uh, these are the first of a few enemies that you can encounter here. Uh, shrimpies. There will be more we can do here later on, but um, for now, I just kind of wanted to show you the Undernet really quick, just for the sake of exploring this area. It's pretty huge. Oh, Dark Line. Ooh. That is an interesting shift. That looks like hole. I think it is hole in this game. Turns all rows into holes. Yeah, so that's the um, 
That is the uh, chip from Battle Network 3 that was called Hole. It's called Darkline in this game, and it's a mega chip. But uh, it's essentially the same chip. They call it something else, but it's really the same thing. It was used. It was used to be very helpful with the base chip in Battle Network 3, but I honestly don't know what it's for in this game because uh, I've never tried using it. So. Oh, these are the enemies in this area that I hate. Uh, Spideys. These guys will will uh, walk around your side and try to run into you the entire time, like so. But thankfully, I have stuff that can take them out. Ow. <laughs> I have stuff that can take them out really quick. Okay, you, you can just go ahead and keep standing on those poison panels and make my life easier. Ow! Worth it. Yeah, that's going to happen a lot in this area because it's rough. Man, I love this undernet music. Okay, tried to get the chip from that battle, but it didn't happen. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, jeez, where do I go? Uh, I think it's over here. Well, that battle was that 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 battle was something. I got a uh, I got a new chip for, for, from that. I got a meta gel chip. I had no idea that a ch chip was in this game, but it is. So that's one thing you can get from mystery data here, I guess. Um. Holy crap! I got three three bug frags from that battle. Wow, that was cool. Ah, oh, jeez, where do I go? This undernet is so mazy. All right, mission accomplished. I got the chip. I got this. I got the Spidey chip. That's what I was trying for trying to get. Uh, there's a warp right there. Uh, I need to map out where that is. It looks like go down here. Uh, no, I don't. Um, let's see. That battle could have been kind of scary. Uh, down here then. I think it's right here. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we first we got a mystery date over here, containing bug 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 frags. I'm getting a lot of bug bug frags too. Like, look at this. I'm at 35 already. That's pretty insane. Anyway, we get we. This is how you get to internet net net too. I don't know if I'm going to explore this entire area right now, because it's really big, but, uh... This place is insane. This is huge. You can encounter the, uh, Tubi viruses here, by the way. Didn't remember that, that they were here. Oh, God. This is going to be quite a thing to get through. Uh, yep, can't go that way. I can get a mystery data if I go down here. Jeez, dude, just all the good stuff. Like, I'm getting all the good stuff here. I think it's this way. Yes. Navi Customizer Program Speed Max. Might actually consider putting that, that on. I honestly should add more to the uh, Navi Cust. And uh, then we are in Undernet 3. Uh, Charles, Charles Space Center. We need a cube for that. Uh, I'd like to get that mystery data that's down there. And that's not how you get it. Uh, okay, yep, this is, this is a warp. Uh, from what I know, this area is massive. It's kind of a maze. you got to take a bunch of warps to get around. Uh, mini bomb B. Uh, 
and we're in, and now we're in under net 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 four. Yeah, this place is really huge. So there's a bunch of sea slider paths in here that that, that you can take around. And right about here, somewhere, there should be a bit of a secretive thing. There's the uh, locked doors too. I should look into few into a few of those. Uh, there's something somewhere that I'm looking for. Uh, there's this guy up here. Bug frag trader. Here we go. Uh, he has air shoes. That's kind of appealing. He also has a few few chips as well. Uh, Navi plus twenty in star code. Uh, get in three, which uh, is the one of the best get in chips. It turns all the panels to swamp or rather poison. I guess they're 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 just called swamp panels. Uh, attack max. Uh, holy dream. Uh, that's a uh, that's a giga chip. One of the other ones in this game. Uh, holy Shot sucks in Holy Panel. 50, sh 50 damage. So I assume that means it gets rid of Holy Panels if they're on the, um... Um... In the, uh, enemy side, I think, I guess. And you get power off of it, or something like, like that. I don't know. That is expensive, though. I might, um, focus on getting that one. Come back soon. Ooh, spooky. All right, so. Ah, here it is. So, uh, look who it is. It's Solar Boy Django. Are you Solar Boy? Who are you? You know of me. I'm Mega Man. I did think that, I didn't think that you really exist, but you're not a programmer, are you? No, I'm not. I'm on a journey beyond time and space. Hunting vampires, wherever they may be. Hunting vampires? Do you mean that inside that... I think his name was Shade Man? So yeah, there it is. So he was kind of hunting for Shade Man. Uh, I managed to force him into his coffin once with my solar gun, Gundel Soul. Shade Man? Have you fought him before? Yes, I have. Fought him, I used the power of a dark chip to delete Shade Man. Denizens of the dark may return any number of times. To, to destroy them completely... They must be purified with this pile driver. But, what's wrong? That pile driver won't work without the sunlight. Light from the sun can't make it this, this deep in the net. If we don't hurry, Shade Man will awake from his slumber. I know, I wonder if we can't somehow transfer sunlight from my operator Lance PT? An excellent idea. No, it won't work. Sunlight can be collected from, from, from the real world if I had S sensor. But I dropped it when fighting with Shade Man. Do you remember where you dropped it? I think it was somewhere near the Undernet 2 entrance. Then I'll go look for it. It isn't proper of me to ask that of one I've just met. But I suppose that given the circumstances... No problem. Leave the yes sensor to me. Land, let's hurry to Undernet net, net, net 2. Okay. So, uh... As actually, before we leave, let's talk to his little flower friend here. This is, uh... And to you. That's, um... Whatever his name is, that's the guy that um, you can you, you, you can get a chip for in one of the games. So uh, you can get this from the Internet 2 entrance, but I believe this is only accessible when you reach the post game, I think, because you need it to uh, reach a secret area. Oh. Oh, this is a win box too. Might as well just show that off. Uh, ooh, I didn't realize I still had that on. Uh, what did I get? Okay, well, that's pretty much all the major stuff here I think I want to show off, because uh, we have to go to, um... I believe the other areas of the Undernet are not as easily accessible right now. If you can get to them later, there's a, uh... They lead to a door that leads to a secret area, because this game does have a secret area. Uh, custom one... Okay, well... Okay, uh, that might be all I want to explore for the Undernet right now. I may come back here later on when, uh, we, uh, finish the game, because I may want to look into how to get to the secret area. I'm not sure whether I'm going to show it yet or not. Depends on the requirements. Because I've never actually done it before. The secret area in this game is going to be blind to me, because I never really took the time to get all the stuff in this game outside of the story, because... 
Not the fondest of Battle Network 4, as I've mentioned many times before, but I think that's that's all we'll show of the Undernet for now. When I need to come back here later on, uh, we will do that. But uh, I think that's that's it for now, because this place is really big, and we're going to be in here for a while, and there really isn't isn't a need to go further right now. I kind of just wanted to show you what it what, what it looks like, because we had, had yet to see it, so that'll be all for now. Let's just jack out. All right, so with all of that, I think, yeah, uh, slightly shorter episode than what I usually do, but I think that is a good place to stop for now, so I'm going to save, and then I think next time on Mega Man Battle Network 3, uh, or Battle Network 3, my god, Battle Network 4, sorry, uh, we're going to, um, I'll probably go around the net a little, li little bit more, and I'll, uh, go on to some sea slider lines, and, uh, we'll see what secrets we can find across those. And then, once all that's done, I think we will be almost ready to go to the finale of the story. So, uh, after I, uh, get some chips and whatnot. So, I think we're gonna do that next time. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time on Mega Man Battle Network 4. See you then.